welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all good and healthy and enjoying the festive season and the festive feels so today i've created this makeup look for the wedding season for the diwali or for any other events it's very simple and subtle yet it has i feel a lot of glow and freshness to it uh, actually i wore this look to my friend's engagement this exact same look with the sari and the blouse and the jewelry for my friend's engagement last month and i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to like share subscribe and comment on the video and the channel so let's directly get into it so i've already moisturized my skin and applied sunscreen so first i'll start with lip balm Then I'll add some extra moisture under my eyes and I'll be using my Cocoon Renewing Under Eye Cream. So I'll let that sit for a minute or two and then I'll start with uh, prepping my skin. So I'll be using two serums. The first that I'll be using is this Bond Brazil Nut and Rose Face Oil with Vitamin E Booster. drops of that and I'll mix it with my plum, grapeseed and sea buckthorn basic facial oil. Do not forget your neck. Can you see that glow already? Let's start with foundation now. I'll be using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. I always love to dot it on my face first rather than directly using it on the sponge. So with this look I wanted to keep the skin very natural and but super glowy and fresh since the eyes will be just subtle and glittery. Before my under eye trout, I will quickly powder my under eyes using this NYX HD powder. I will take whatever is on the cover on the lid. I don't usually powder any other area. Because I feel the natural glow is just too good to be powdered down. Now I will first do my eyebrows. I'm using my Innisfree Auto Eyebrow Pencil. Now after the eyebrows, moving on to the eyes. This was my eye look that day. Did it up? Yeah. It was very simple very easy but I don't remember how I did it okay let's start I'm going to use my makeup revolution reloaded iconic palette right there and it has all these orangey browny shades along with this very pretty like mint green shimmer 
So yeah, that's what I'm going to use like right here this row. So first I will start uh, with an all over crease color. Then I'm taking this mauveish brown shade as a crease color and really buffing it and working it and making it seamless. I'm also extending it slightly outwards so as to create a four wing and then taking this matte orangey peach shade as an overall lid color. Then I took a big fluffy brush and really blended the edges so that there are no harsh lines whatsoever. I think this side is not good so like if you make mistakes like me, you simply take a flat brush Now for the star of the show, my glittery mint green color. I'm taking a small flat brush and really packing the brush with the shade and dabbing the shade onto the two thirds of my eyelid and slightly creating like a faux cut crease. Then I'm taking a clean brush and slightly blending the edge of the cut crease so that it's not too harsh. And lastly for the eyeshadow, I'm taking that same orangey peach color and lightly packing it on the outer third of my eyes. I took an angle brush and slightly just going to outline my eye. For the lower lash line and the inner corners, I'm taking that same mint green shade. Take the same orange color and... Now that the eyes are done, I'm going to start with the rest of the face. I will be using my Emma Girl. For bronzing my face, I'm taking these brown shades on an angled brush and packing them under my cheekbones, my temples and my jawline. I merge it with my um, bronzer and contour. I will first apply my you know, master strobing stick. Then I take my fan brush and apply a powder highlight. Lastly, lipstick. So I mixed a few shades that day, I remember. So the first one that I used was this Calabar Bear. It's a very gorgeous color. It's this beautiful pinkish nude. It looks too orange in the camera. And then I topped it with my Maybelline Nude Nuance. Okay, but lastly I used a lip gloss. This is from New One.
So that was the entire look with the outfit and the makeup and the jewelry. It's very subtle, but it has a certain glam to it, which I absolutely love. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, turn on your post notifications on my Instagram. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Bye. And a happy Diwali.